If we know that this is happening, how are we going to use the data? New data from Statistics Canada is highlighting the impact of the pandemic on visible minorities. Simply put, they have a higher COVID-19 mortality rate. I guess it's not surprising. Um, we, we know that the health disparities and health inequities have existed for a long time. And so COVID-19 really shone a light on the fact that there's these gaps. The report says areas with the highest proportion of visible minorities had a COVID-19 mortality rate nearly twice as high than areas with the lowest amount of visible minorities. In British Columbia, the mortality rate was more than 10 times higher, and in Montreal and Toronto, rates were higher in areas with greater concentrations of Black Canadians. Very recent reports are showing us that Black, Indigenous, and people of colour communities are really facing a huge amount of unconscious bias as well as very conscious forms of racism. And these data really prove that reality. Dr. Farah Shroff at UBC says it's not enough to just simply collect data, and at the worst, it justifies an action. Many apartheid-like states have collected those kinds of data. And in fact, when they find out that communities of color are at greater risk, it's almost an excuse to do nothing about that particular disease entity. I do not call for race-based data or ethnocultural-based data ever unless there's a further commitment to actually take action, which is community-based. What's an example of what action on this data could be? It's usually like doing things in their own language, doing things which make sense with their culture, their music. Dr. Shroff uses an example of how she enjoyed growing up in a high-density, multi-generational South Asian household. South Asians have a higher risk of getting diabetes, which is also a risk factor for COVID-19. It would be important to address um, the positive aspects of having that kind of three-generational high-density housing, as well as the kinds of challenges that it that it presents and try to keep grandma and grandpa safe because they're probably going to be in the house with kids who are going to school. So it has to be really targeted at each community. The StatsCan report also shows that visible minorities continue to face higher levels of unemployment, financial difficulties and representation in low-wage jobs. Dr. Shroff says improving everyone's social mobility by addressing racism and income distribution will also improve their health outcomes. That's Public Health 101. More equal societies create healthier societies. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.